What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Doc Illuminati back with another video. So we want to talk about this um, stabbing that took place with the uh, bishop over in Australia. So literally, what really what happened over there, right? I got a um, I got a clip here. I'm gonna have to play it off here for right now. Um, but check this out. Back down with a terror attack in Sydney. A bishop stabbed inside of a church while delivering a sermon. He is going to survive, but this attack just days after at least six people were stabbed to death inside a mall in the Sydney area. NBC's Molly Hunter has the late-breaking details. And a warning, we're going to show you the moment of the church attack. It is graphic. Tonight, Sydney, Australia, in mourning again after two rare and unrelated stabbing attacks in three days. On Monday, a horrific moment captured on a church service live stream. Ooh, in the middle of a sermon, a huh? bishop stamped repeatedly inside an Orthodox Assyrian church in what authorities are now calling a terror attack. A terror attack. Cell phone video from inside that was verified by Reuters shows the suspect, who police say is just 15 years old, pinned down by other churchgoers and later arrested. The young person has sustained injuries to his hand as a result of his actions. We do know that he's not a regular attender at the church. While well, other worshippers rushed to the bishop's side before first responders arrived. Check this out, though. To officials, the bishop, along with three other victims, were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. This comes just days after Saturday's stabbing incident at a mall in Sydney's suburbs. At least six Check people were killed. Though. They believe the attacker... So, at, after the stabbing, right, the police showed up and, um... Then they ended up, they ended up, they ended up riding. wanted vengeance. Bring him out here! Bring him out here! The alleged attacker was escorted by police to hospital after suffering injuries to his hand. The teenager had previously been charged with knife offences and was handed a good behaviour bond. He wasn't on a terrorism watch list. Um, from the New South Wales police or their federal counterparts. After last night's violent scenes here, police have made the unusual move of requesting the location where the alleged offender is being held be kept secret amid fears of further retaliation against him. There is no place for violent extremism. You'll be met by the full force of the law if there's any attempt for tit-for-tat violence. Police investigating a night of violence while trying to prevent another. Leah Harris, ABC News, Sydney. Okay, so... They were ugly scenes with the potential to spread. Within hours Look. of last night's attack, the state's religious leaders were publicly calling for calm. Today, the Premier called them in... They have rioted. ...his praise. I think it's so important... The church. ...for the people of New South Wales to understand that the civic... The church spazzed out pretty much. The, the church... Where is it? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get to the part where... Uh, uh, and someone sent me a video... And I saw our bishop being stabbed. The crowd grew quickly, and so did the anger. With the alleged attacker still inside, police tried to hold back the crowd. People used what was available to them in the area, including bricks, concrete, palings, to assault police. Our paramedics oh, became not just directly under threat and was supported by police and had to retreat into the church. The commissioner says three officers were taken to hospital and more than 40 police cars damaged. Amid the chaos, police deployed capsicum spray while the faithful prayed for the bishop's health. So basically you got go going on here. One side of the church completely... Now, I don't know if it was the church or not. It could have just been the people from the town. But after he got stabbed, they just bugged out. So when the police arrived to help them out for the stabbing, they all turned on the police, started damaging cars, started beating the police up. I seen a, a police officer more than likely got slashed or something. because His whole face was tied up and stuff. It had blood on it. I mean, it got wild after the stabbing out there. And it was like, yo... The fact that um it was a 15 year old boy and there was this one clip that I saw where they was literally um chanting at all at once, bring him out, bring him out. Yo, they was gonna put that man to death. They, they were they was gonna do you know what I'm saying that this is over in Australia. And um 
It's crazy because, um, well, I, I think a lot of people may have seen this guy because he's a social media. He's been on social media, right? Um, I don't particularly watch him all the time, but I've seen him and I've heard his messages. And he seems to be on to, you know what I'm saying, what he's supposed to be or people supposed to be on to or whatever. And um, look, man, the Bible does say, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. So when you do stuff like that, you never know really what's going to happen. Um, I mean, it's just wild that they, uh, they, 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 I'm not going to say who attacked the police. We're just going to say the police were attacked when they were responding to the situation at the church though. So, you know, how did that many people get to the church that fast? Or was it literally the people that was already there just, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Just bugged out. And I'm saying, but I wanted to say something like, um, <clears throat> I want to say, you know, that's the kind of defense that this word needs. I mean, this is why God has put his men up for this task. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Because like I just said in the last video, I said, if you ain't, if you're not holding and governing this word, you got to govern it. Somebody was, if somebody was governing that word while my man was doing what he was doing, that wouldn't have never even happen to him. You understand what I'm saying? Like if I want to put myself in a public place, I, I get it. We at church, bro. But, um, excuse me, you kidding me? So you're going to have to have, um, you're going to have to have your line of men in defense already lined up and prepared to do what they got to do. Even if you was in a church, man, come on, man. We know that we in the war. You understand what I'm saying? And, um, just, just right here is another situation that can prove to us that, that they want to touch us right now. You understand? And look how far it's actually got. So, and that's how, that's how I feel like the church, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was like, whoa, hold up. Those lines were just crossed. That, that's what they felt. I felt like that as well when I said, what? Hold up. I heard it was a stab and this, then the third. But then when I found out he got stabbed, I'm like, hold up. Okay, that. It's like a, it's like a, I ain't going to say, I ain't going to say it's a sign, but it's definitely a message. You understand? So you got signs, but you also got messages too. You better pay attention to something out here. But um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We're going to, um, we're going to touch back on that story a little bit. I'm going to get a couple more videos on it. But as, as of now, um, we want to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So I want to put together a couple of scriptures and everything because I want to make sure that we get the full gist of literally what we see taking place right here. I already kind of called this thing. It's dude didn't die, but I knew it was getting ready to be a mass something that was going to go across the web. It was going to be worldwide, and it was going to basically see one of our people being touched. This is that event. You know what I'm saying? I thought it would have happened maybe about two weeks ago, but it's literally happened about, like, I had this, um, this, just, just, um, probably about a month ago. So this is, the, I feel like this is the story though. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more research and documentation on this, bring a couple of scriptures back with that. And then we're gonna keep rolling on that subject. Till next time, it's your boy Don Caluminati. Peace.